This is the rain still yet to come, and this is on top of the three to five inches of rain that we have seen already for Louisiana, parts of Texas. Look at the orange shaded region, you guys. That's three to five inches of rain. You could see even more than that, especially around middle parts of Arkansas starting late today. And if it finally ends up on Wednesday evening, it's going to have a lot of time to rain over you. So we've already got saturated soils. With that in mind, flash floods, flood watches in this entire region. We've got that from Corsicana outside of Dallas all the way over towards uh, the state line with Alabama and Georgia at this point. So they've expanded through to central parts of Alabama. And this is just a soaked area. You know, we do have some of the totals on how how overachieving it is and no surprise you know with the El Nino setup that we had this is typically an area that we would see get a lot of this rain but now you have also entering into severe season and with all the moisture pouring in any of these storms and then the training scenario there you can is. get a ton of rain um, there's a look at all the flash flood warnings that we have up and um, and Stephen you know the other thing too with this we're not done we have to go in through the rest of today this yeah. afternoon before we see a reemergence of some of these storms into tonight. This is this is such a problem. Yesterday, when we were anticipating, hoping for clear skies, we were watching this boundary. And this thing can fluctuate in Texas because of storms. We, we saw that that growth of storms in Dallas and, and that that shifted that boundary just a little farther to the south. It's going to really take a lot of work to get that to move farther to the north. I mean, you were seeing where that extensive flash flood warning is this morning just south of Dallas into um, getting close to Louisiana. But because there's not a lot of wiggle to that to that boundary, that zone's going to continue to see the heavy rain. But I find it interesting that it, it really comes into focus Wednesday and Thursday farther to the east. There is so much more moisture that's available in Louisiana and Mississippi and Alabama that that moderate risk that we have for flash flooding or the very likely threat that could be a big a big issue. And um, it's it's impressive to see that we, we've got these back to back days now. It's just that influx. It's that return to the moisture that has the severe weather component to it. And now this very heavy rain. Um, not, not that it was bad enough yesterday for folks in South Texas um, and Eastern Texas, where they had mostly clouds, couldn't see that partial eclipse. Now, now they just have the heavy rain. The skies have opened up this morning. Yeah, it really has. I mean, you're, like you said, the training event's going to be pretty epic because we've got a slow moving storm. It's actually going to bake itself up with a surface low right around Texas, eventually gets into the Great Lakes. It's going to take some time, though. Watch that thing gradually shift over to the east. All the while, the Gulf of Mexico is open for business, right? Right? We've got that south wind, southwesterly wind, all levels of the atmosphere kind of twist a little bit, so we get the shear going on by tomorrow afternoon, too. But that is a heavy batch of rain that's just going to slide across the entire northern Gulf Coast, ultimately ends up around the east coast, too, with a flood danger out there for the Appalachians for day three. So we're talking Thursday, still watching extremely heavy rainfall over the next three days, 72 hours worth. Yeah, Wednesday's going to be tough. I think tomorrow morning we'll be tracking some storms out there, which could be severe and strong. And then we'll see that reignition into the afternoon and overnight hours. A lot to pay attention to. Make sure you're staying up to date with the forecast in your area. And talk about a soggy start. Look at Hattiesburg there. Oh, my Second goodness. Second ranking so far two with how rain. much rainfall. Wow. Yeah, almost two feet, just over two feet in Columbus, Georgia. Athens, Georgia, around two feet of rain. Jackson, Mississippi. That story extending across the lower Mississippi Valley. Yeah. More rain on the way. A lot of facets to this severe outbreak that we're potentially watching for tomorrow. And a lot of things to be uh, very mindful of before you head to bed, especially. Mm -hmm.